One of these is a real Nintendo Switch, and the other one is a piece of cake. I'm just kidding. Both of these are real Nintendo Switches. But today I'm going to be learning how to make realistic cakes from a professional cake artist. This is a Johnny cake. Johnny is this guy on YouTube that makes these super hyper realistic cakes. So he made these kits where he teaches average dummies like me and you how to make these super realistic cakes. So today we're each gonna be making our own cereal bowl cake. And at the end, it's gonna be judged based off of both appearance and flavor. Whoever scores higher wins the TFG championship ring. This is the real ring? This is a cake piece of the ring. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh. It was real. So basically this cake is supposed to look exactly like a bowl of cereal. I have no idea what ours is gonna look like, but it's it's not gonna look like a bowl of cereal. I'll tell you that much. Whoa! It comes with a snack. <laughs> <laughs> so you need to add eggs, butter, heavy cream. Oh, I don't have heavy cream. <laughs> Man, I never do enough research into these videos. So it comes with like a little welcome message from Johnny Cakes. It says, hello and welcome to my tutorial. Done. You're done? Yeah, how realistic does that look? That's, you just filled it with milk and put real Fruit Loops in there. Pretty good. Thanks. So this is a video from Johnny. Okay. Hello all and welcome to the Johnny Cakes Cereal Bowl Cake Kit Tutorial video. First and foremost, this is supposed to be fun. It's just cake. No, this is not about having fun. This is about beating Steve. It's only fun if I win. Winning's fun. So we have our ingredients. Anything that's not here is in the fridge. Ready? Yeah. Winner takes all. Three, two, one. Well, that wasn't exciting. Four tablespoons of butter. Bam, in the microwave. You're getting behind. <laughs> now you're behind. I asked for that one. Is it cake? Hey. I would never wow. hurt my Roxy. <laughs> ah, it's hot. Ow, ow, ow. You know they say the best way to crack an egg is not on the side of a bowl? Yeah, it's on the side. A flat, flat surface. surface. I might not be the best baker, but I was actually feeling pretty confident early in the competition. I think Steve must have sensed this because little by little he started sabotaging my cake. Oh, you're oh, spilling it no. everywhere. If my cake doesn't taste as good now, it's your fault. Yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way, if you're wondering how our cakes are judged at the end, yeah. I'm the judge. Well, that doesn't seem fair. No, I'm kidding. Bruce is going to be the judge. Okay. So he gets to decide if it looks better and tastes better. I'm making adjustments to mine. Yeah? Yeah. I had very little confidence in me winning the looks category. I know Steve's more artistic than I am. So I decided to make a few adjustments to the recipe, hoping it would make the cake taste better so I could win the taste category. How much cornstarch? It's a healthy pinch. I believe it was a healthy pinch. It's a pinch that eats its broccoli. <laughs> I hope Brandon's better at making cakes than he has jokes. Oof. Nothing stick into that, Brucey. This might be the first cake I've ever made. Yeah, maybe I'm liking my chances, actually. You're already putting yours in? Yeah. Oh man, I'm behind. Close the oven, you're wasting my heat. He's sabotaging me. I knew you were gonna sabotage Relax. me. Relax. You're keeping the oven open. The advantage that I have here is I know where everything is in my kitchen, Steve does not. So right now I think he's looking for saran wrap. I'm not gonna tell him. There's a saran wrap! It's all right. Okay. Yeah, I was able to find it. Okay, so we need to freeze the cake for two hours, but while we're freezing that, we can start step two, which is making the ganache. Ooh. Ugh. Ah. 
heavy cream. Yeah, it was heavy cream. I thought that was funny, you know? That one was actually kind of funny. I gotta take my cakes out of the oven. Oh, I was hoping you would have forgot. Oh, that looks good. Wow, that looks better. Yeah, see? I'm the baker here, man. Although he said it's not supposed to dome, and mine is really doming. Doming it. All right, I was behind for a minute, but now I'm back on track. Are you supposed to put it in the refrigerator? I don't know. No, it does say cool. You weren't going to, so you can't. I knew right away that Steve putting his ganache in the freezer was a huge mistake. This could actually cost him the entire competition. Let's say hypothetically like one of us was making like a, a big mistake. Yeah. Like since it's I'm a competition- I'm not supposed to put it in the freezer. Would you tell me if I was doing something like so wrong? No, you tried to burn my cake earlier. It says cool at room temp. You're lucky yeah. I'm a nice guy. I shouldn't have told Something you. was supposed to go in the freezer. How long would you have let me burn that cake? Oh, until the- house was on fire. Man, I, should, I shouldn't have told you. <laughs> Next, you have to knead the modeling chocolate onto the board until it's pliable. Oh, baby, without you, I'd be nothing. <laughs> I almost got a smile from him. So stupid. I almost got a smile from him. Things going all right over there? Yeah, everything's good, don't you worry. I was pretty sure I just ruined my entire cake. After seeing Brandon's modeling chocolate, I knew I had this in the bag. Wow. Look at that. That looks terrible. What? It's better than yours. This is a disaster. I can feel the TFG championship ring on my finger right now. This is fun. <laughs> Bruce, do you think Brandon's cake or not? <laughs> I know he was just joking, but part of me thought Steve actually wanted to stab me. I wanted to stab him. So this is the point of the video where we're actually assembling the cake. This was by far the most nerve wracking part of the entire competition. I knew the assembly had to go perfect. If I made a mistake, it could cost me the ring. At this point, I'm just hoping Brandon makes a mistake. All right, our bowls are done. Now it's time for the judging. So Bruce, you are going to be rating first on appearance. One out of five, what do you give Steve's? I'll settle for a four, Bruce. Four's fine. A three! Wow, generous. Bruce is so <laughs> nice. All right, Bruce, what about this beautiful work of art? All right, wow. I'll take a four. Rigged. Cake number one. Cake number two. So the first one you tasted, Bruce, what is your score out of five? A four. And your score for the second cake that you tasted. No, it's a tie! <laughs> we have a tie! How do we decide who gets the, the ring? First person to eat the entire cake wins. I don't want to eat all that. 